Hey guys, Thomas Lang here. I'm here with Florian and Knofi. Uh, we're working on some hand technique. And this next exercise is about power building, stamina, strength building, and control building using single strokes and flat flams. So the exercise I want to show you guys, one warm-up exercise that's been very helpful and important to me, you know this one, is to play just single strokes for one bar or two bars or four bars, but the very last single is a rough. This forces you to play, you know, very precise singles until the very end of the phrase, until you, you know, can hardly keep it up anymore. Uh, but then you have to play a rough to switch to the other hand. So it would be, if I play a one bar phrase, it would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, that's always a rough before you switch hands, okay? Let's try this together. Let's play a, a one bar phrase at 100 BPM. Two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Very good. Let's try to do four bars. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Excellent. So um, you can extend this to you know eight bars or even just to two quarter notes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. You know, putting that rough in there. Um, now, of course, when you're doing this, one hand is getting a workout and the other one's just sitting there. I always find it extremely uh, b boring and also uh, made no sense to me that you're working one hand and not the other hand at the same time. So I'm a big fan of unison exercises. I showed you some of these before, and these are to me some of the most important exercises in, in, uh, in playing drums and practicing because you're working both hands at the same time. And you can constantly compare the right hand with the left hand. How much weaker is your weak hand than the strong hand, and so on. And you can gauge how much more practice the weak hand needs that way. So every day you're sitting there comparing and realizing, okay, this needs more workout, so why not just keep this hand going and do something else with this hand? Focus, say, on, on 60 notes with the left hand or triplets with the left hand, and do something else with the right hand. Play accents, play little textures, you know, put the right hand on different instruments, phrase along with the left hand. This, to me, was, a, first of all, a very welcome distraction from the tedious left hand workouts, and also, it gives you a lot of musical ideas, and like ideas for orchestrations, and, uh, and you practice in a more musical and more interesting way. You still get that workout for the weak hand, but you're concentrating on you know, another layer of this exercise. Now, what I want you to do is to play continuous 16th notes with quarter note accents in the left hand, as in one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four. This just stays the same, this is an ostinato, okay? Try that. Four, one, two, three. Perfect. Great. Now we've got the right hand just sitting there. How about we play just quarter notes with the right hand? Three, four. Very good. Try not to flam. Very nice. 
Now let's play eighth notes with the right hand like this. The left hand is still playing only quarter note accents, but now the right hand is playing eighth notes. As in one and two and three and four and one and and if you look at my stick height, the left hand is only coming up for the quarter note accent, not for the eighth note. One eighth note and two sixteenth notes. So it goes ding, 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 ding with the right hand. Okay, three, four. tricky one. I want you to play dotted eighth notes with the right hand. I'll just play it quietly on the side of the drum. It'll sound like this. Four. of course because because now you have a layer of a group of three you go one two three 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 and here you go one two three four one two three four one two three four so it ends up being a three against four mm -hmm. accent pattern so if I only play the accents it would be you know Here I'm playing four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And here I'm playing one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So here is the one, two, three, one, two, three. And here I'm one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so it's a polymetric pattern. Three over four. Let's try that. Okay? Left hand first. Now let's try to put the right hand one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. Of course, um, this is good in many ways because now, as you can notice, your left hand is continuously going and you don't even notice that you're getting a workout because you're concentrating on the mm -hmm. polymetric aspect of this, um, but, which is fantastic, but there is another level to this. Of course, it is playing all the notes with the right hand too. So you're playing a right hand. Wow. You know, groups of three, one, two, 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 three. And the left hand groups of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, this creates a really interesting unison pattern with a layer of accents that is polymetric. So I'll play to you. Two, three. and you always pay attention to precise flat flam. So try not to go 
you know, flam, flam, flam CD, but really focus on precision when you're doing this. Let's try to slow it down a little bit. And if you want, if it helps you, you can play that accent still on the ring. So. Still focus mainly on the left hand. Exactly. To play those accents nice and loud. Very nice. Very good exercise. Try to do this and of course speed it up. <laughs> It's very cool if you put the right hand on a different instrument. I'll play. You know, and you know, or the left hand on a snare, the right hand on a cymbal, or right hand on different toms. Go. You know, toms, but keep the left on the snare. Great unison warm up exercise with an interesting sort of uh, level of accent layers. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> hey, beautiful drum nerds all around the world. If you like that video, please give us some love and click there for subscription. And if you want to see another cool video, click there and you see another cool video. How cool is that? So I hope to see you around. Stay tuned.